guys. Well, here we go. Ox is right here. The UPS man was nice enough to drop it off at the door. So let's find something to. Nope. Try the weight scale. You think this will open it up? Nope. Okay, whatever. Time to bring up the big boys. Well, where is the big boys? There she is. Ooh. Found a tube. I found at the river. Found him in the water. Pretty good looking too. All right. Here we go. Oh boy. It's gonna be one of those boxes. Come on. All right. See what we got inside here. Ooh. She looks good. Oh no. Alright. So let's see what we got here. Ah yes. These are the Berkeley Havoc grass pigs from Mr. I think I believe it. This one is Chris. Oh, Bobby Lane. Bobby Lane. Oh yeah, these little guys look like they did do some damage. Nice little purple on the bottom there, a little brown, nice little petal tail. This is perfect for what I've been fishing in the river. So that's a, those are three and a half inches, 10 count. So that's that. I got another pack, same size, 10 count. These ones though, Nice little, nice little shad color with a little bit darker on the top. Another little paddle tail again. Perfect for what I've been fishing. These are going to be unbelievable. Probably put them on a swim jig or two when I go out to the lake. But uh, as for the river, these ones will be pretty much perfect by themselves. So I got those. I didn't get, I didn't get anything else, did I? Oh yeah, I did. I got the these ones that are designed by Ike, Mr. Mike Iconelli. I had these ones before, so obviously it's a no-brainer to go to them again. But a nice little four-inch green pumpkin paddle tail. Beautiful. I don't think I have, I think I have one left that has a tail. Otherwise, once the tails snap off, I use them for a drop shot. But, uh, that's the Havox. I believe that's all the Berkeley products. Now, let's see what else we can muster up in here. Oh, I thought I bought two of them. Here's another same package of those green pumpkin Iconale design swim baits. Uh, return shipping and exchange policy. Not gonna need it, because this is all awesome stuff. Got a 10 pack of four inch grubs by Zoom. Little curly tails. And a little bit of a, it's a green pumpkin color. That tail's gonna be deadly. Those smallies are gonna absolutely demolish it. So, can't wait to use those. Never used uh, a single tail grub like this one before. I've had a couple old ones, but obviously they don't do good as the new ones. So you got the green tail there. We have the same exact thing, just in a, in a, this color is I believe, glimmer blue. Nice little white with blue flake, silver flake kind of deal. It's gonna be good on the water. Those are four inches again. So, I think that's it for the zoom grubs. We got big bites. Uh, three and a half inch salted tube. Now this one's gonna be pumpkin and black flake, which is gonna be perfect for me because uh, those smallies love their crawdads. And this one's, this bag is nice and sealed. So I don't, can you see the color right there? How about those little 
Orange color with black flake in them. Stellar. Caught one on the river the other day on them. Same color. Bought two packs. Had two. Um, now I got the same thing, but these ones are a smoke with a black and orange. So kind of like a gray with a black and orange. I know they look green, but they're definitely like a an off gray color. It looks sort of weird. I don't know if you guys can see it, but trust me, they're gray with a little bit of coloring to them. And I think that's it for my bottom stuff. Oh, just kidding. I bought a pack of Gets It Incorporated. By the way, these were big bite baits. These Gets It tubes. I think there's, looks like there's 12 in here? I don't know. I don't know, maybe like 12, 10, something like that. But these are the green with a little bit of green pumpkin in them. Where's that glare coming from? I don't know how that's getting there, but let's see. If, there we go. A little bit of color on those tubes. Now these are something I've been looking to kind of, oh, I guess I bought two of those. Now I've been looking to get these into some on my swim jigs, on some of my swim jigs. I got five skirts here. This is the, the baby bass color right there. And this is like a chartreuse or a citrus shad is what they call it. These are by Z-Man. Looking to put them on some swim jigs or some uh, um, chatter baits or uh, spinner baits. So these will come in handy as soon as I get uh, them on the jigs because I got a couple of them that need them. Now, here we go. The small mouth killers that have been on all my videos. Got all these Lunker City swim baits. Now, these are the Lunker City Swimming Ribsters. They're four inch swim baits, which are perfect for the small mouth because even the little ones bite them. But this one is called Alewife. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not, but these little guys are exactly like those re reaction strike baits that I was getting. White with black. What's up, Robbie? Mm -hmm. Rob just walked in, guys. So those are that. Those are the Alewife colors. Now these colors are, I don't even know how to pronounce it. It's like a U. So it's got the white, kind of looks like that uh, swimming pig that I got, the Bobby Lane version. But a little smaller profile, gonna love them. See you later, Rob. And I got two packs of those. Each of these comes in a pack of 10. And then I wanted to try these out just cause, you know, for giggles. Because I know up on the Great Lakes in uh, Sturgeon Bay, they love to eat gobies because gobies have really given the car become uh, part of their um, feeding habits up there. And actually, the smallmouth up in Sturgeon Bay and up in the whole Door County area up there, they developed a hard palate to actually eat the gobies because the gobies are starting to take over pretty good. But uh, hopefully we can get those gobies to, you know, slow down because they're eating all the smallmouth spawn. But um, I think I actually heard one guy say that it was unlawful to put a goby back. But I think he was just kind of weird. And But I, I would definitely have done the same thing because obviously they're ruining the, the potential of their smallmouth it's coming back. So, but... Here's that goby color. It's got a nice little white belly on it with a little bit of a greenish gold and a couple golden black flakes in here. It looks like it could be a really good color for up there. And you know what, uh, probably a pretty good color up here because they seem to love these little tiny swim baits. But that is it for, oh, just kidding. That is it for my, just got the tackle warehouse sticker. Good to put that on the tackle box every once in a while. Got some nice packaging paper. But um, guys, I only spent 
50 bucks on all that junk. Um, it's not junk, but it's going to help me catch a lot of fish. Um, you know, I absolutely love Tackle Warehouse. Um, they got some really great prices on there. Uh, they got top of the line stuff. Um, I'm going to be doing be doing all my fishing videos with stuff like this especially for the smallmouth maybe maybe a little less when I get to the largemouth lake fishing but um, especially when I'm the river all this stuff's gonna be used all the time because they just absolutely murder stuff like that um, and I'm hoping that stays up so but uh, today it's a it's a nice day outside but the barometric pressure is a little off for me to go fishing but I think I'm gonna get out tomorrow with my buddy Luke uh, you know, I played baseball with Luke in college when we had a team, and it's going to be a blast. I hope he can get out there. I'm going to text him today. We're going to get out there. We're going to catch some fish. Luke's been getting skunked lately. I've been catching them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get Luke on some fish, and uh, I'm going to get some action footage of both me and Luke. Hopefully we'll get some, some cool video for you guys. But... Uh, as far as that goes, that's that's the Tackle Warehouse unboxing, and uh, I'll catch you guys later, all right? Hello, TNT Fishing. See you guys later.